Welcome back to the Ghost Gate. I am Gray, and today we get to play another match in this little Finnish League Cup thing. Apparently, we qualified by hitting third place. Awesome shit. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Didn't really care too much, and I really don't care about this game, quite honestly, not to be a dick. But hey, you know, it is what it is, and we're here. We have a chance. We have a chance. So, that's pretty much what we're going to roll in here and do. Um, based in, I'm going to take a look at it. Is not, not what I, uh, not what I would like to have. But anyhow, uh, and then we're just going to kind of, ooh, hurala and ols. Okay, I guess we can drop Ramali in there. To cover for Oles, since he's a little worn out. Mika Granholm. Oh, no. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it anyway. Just to do it. Just just to fucking do it. We're going to put Ramasaho in there. Because, honestly, this formation is going to give Ramasaho some, some chances to play. Um, especially in that, like, that central spot right there. He's not super comfy with it. But, you know... I mean, I think we'll deal. Hinkle, how good is Hinkle still? Uh, I don't know. Decisions, 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 right? Ramali, at least, is a little, you know, smarter. So we'll go with him. So, um, yeah. We're just going to continue with this. Like I said, I mean, we're just going to roll into this and, um, you know, hope for the best. We have Oyala out there. He's a little worn out, too. But we're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, I could, what I really could do, and I probably should do, is just roll in there with everyone anyway, and then just give everyone the time off in the next match, which the next match is a friendly, theoretically, as long as this doesn't get all fuckered up if we win. So, yeah, there's that. But we are going to keep, yeah, I don't think I'll just put Saxola out there and just sub him off with Gronholm at some point. I mean, how's that sound? That sounds fucking smart to me. Just put uh, Harala out there and have Ramasaho come in and relieve him like a halftime or some shit. I think that sounds about right. I think that's what we're going to do. See, I mean, and that's something too. Like like I said, it's 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 the same thing as our other one, just a slightly different. So, I mean, it's not going to be, you know, this formation isn't going to be like some drastic change. But anyhow, um, yeah, pretty happy with that actually. All right, so let's see. Let's, you know what? We're just gonna go with this one and carry on where you finished the last time. Don't fuck it up, kids. This is what I'm saying. But anyhow, um, like I said, off the back of that, you know, three 0 one, which is awesome. Ooh, fucking shit, dude. You know what I am gonna do? I am gonna do this actually. I'm gonna take hassle opponents off. Because I wonder if that had much to do with our attacking Verve going forward um, in that second half. I know, obviously, the, the goal had a lot to do with it. And then, um, you know, the, uh, the whatever you want to call it, the um, the, the halftime talk. And them getting early yellow is kind of nice, too. But I'm just wondering, just curious. We'll just try that and see if we, like, just literally pick up where we left off last time and just start pounding goals in here in the first half against Yarrow, but I doubt it. Um, and, and quite honestly, like I said, you know, a loss here wouldn't be terrible. I mean, we've got those friendlies. Give us some time to get all that together and, you know, give us some time to get um, caught up. Not really health-wise, but fitness-wise. Oh, see see all the chances there? Just Oh, and that's a fucking penalty. Thank you so very much. Well, they all went just trying to just straight up kill Yala there, didn't they? Shit, there's like four of them just running his ass over. Alright, don't don't fuck this up now, Usu. And he did. God damn it. Well, I wonder if that's a sign of things to come. I hope not, shit. I have bitched about that already, haven't I? How there's no real... I shouldn't say no real. Well, there's very few, you know, like, penalty and, like, free kick um, 
specialists in this game, or at least I haven't found any. I mean, a lot of them have like average skill in that department. I mean, and we're talking, you know, Champions League quality players too. You know, there's none that are, you know, head and shoulders above the rest. Which is, is, is weird because personally I like having that specialist. In fact, when I played at FM12, I had a player on my team. Joe McKee was his name. He uh, he was my set piece specialist. Oh my god, I thought that was him. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was he was like a perfect penalty kick taker. You know, really got set piece. I think it was perfect. I think he had perfect 20s in both set, like, the... Uh, yeah, I guess penalty kicks and um, whatever the hell it is, the spot kicks. He had like perfect twenties in those, and it was just you know, it was awesome. I mean, he won a lot of matches for me, and he wasn't like that's something too. He wasn't a super great player, but he specialized in a couple of things. You know, obviously he was very good at the technical portion of the game, and um, obviously the set pieces and shit like that. So I had him taking my corners, I had him taking my penalty kicks, I had him taking, you know, my spot kicks, everything. I mean, he was just that guy. God damn, we are all over this goal. Holy shit. First 12 minutes of this game, I mean, we were all over this shit. Just need everything but the fucking goal so far. I mean, we could literally have like three goals by now. If Hagman would have fucking put that one in that he got his head to, and thank you very much. We'll take that throw in. But, um, you know, like I said, I mean, most of the players that you find here are like 13s, 10s. I mean, honestly, kind of average in a lot of those, a lot of those areas. And like I said, it's disappointing because, you know, I played Joe McKee and even when all my other players were, you know, not necessarily twice as good as he was, but if I remember right, I think, I think in the editor, he was like a 140 or 150, something like that. But I mean, and on all my other players, like 180s later, later in the game, but I mean, I, I kept him around and I kept playing him because of that, that fact that he was so much better at penalty kicks I mean I, I would literally keep him on the bench if I wasn't playing him in case the game went to penalties so you just throw him out there you know you have a surefire penalty taker you know you know and and like there's a lot of late games where he would take like a like a spot kick out here or some shit you know and score from here it was fucking amazing I mean it's it was just awesome I like that and I personally like I said I, I personally like having those sorts of players um you know keeping them around and 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 one and in truth um long throws if you have a player with long throws in this game in, in FM14 oh my god Ose towering above everybody well we got that goal that's good hopefully this formation I said this before hopefully that formation this formation really gives Ose a chance I mean those those really these two guys right here are going to be the primary goal scorers these guys, the central guy is going to score, yes, but these guys are going to be the primaries because of the runs that they make. They're going to have much easier chances. But anyhow, um, you know, long throws are, are quite the weapon. Uh, I had a player I actually just sold him for a decent chunk of change. I, uh, well, actually, it wasn't, really wasn't that good. I got 20 million for him, which in my estimation wasn't really very much, but. He, he, um, for his skill level and all that good shit, but, yeah, he, the, the throw, the long throws, I mean, you can be over here and throw it all the way into the box, and it created a lot of scoring chances. So if you happen to have a player with long throws, you should probably think twice about selling him. Just saying. You know, because that's, a good score in that category is, can be, can be a valuable weapon. It wasn't so much an FM12, honestly, I, I, I found them giving the ball turning the ball over more often than creating chances with you know when you use the player with long throws in, the, in my honest opinion but in FM14 it's it's been pretty pretty useful and the reason why I did let him go is because I had a player that was wasn't too bad at long throws himself I mean he wasn't he wasn't as good but he was still pretty good he could still throw the ball pretty good distance and and he was a younger player and had some room to grow so hopefully in time his long throws would be up to the, to the same same level as uh, as the guy I let go, but like I said, it's it's a pretty pretty decent weapon for for this game. So that's something to think about if you're if you're looking for you know, or if you have a guy like I said that has long throws and like ah this guy sucks, I want to get rid of him. I want to think twice.
because when I let mine go, I was like, well, shit, I'm really going to miss that. And then I kind of did stumble across a younger player, like I said, that had pretty good pretty good score in that category. But he wasn't taking long throws as it was because um, the other guy was always taking them. And I was like, well, fuck, this is going to suck. And they're like, well, actually, won't be too far off because yeah, the other kid that takes, takes throw-ins for me now isn't, isn't too bad either. So. Oh, the oh, the boom. You know, this formation really, in my in my opinion, oh, in my opinion, really does move the players quite a bit, moves move the defenders quite a bit. Just like the um, four one two three zero, they really move this back line a lot and create a lot of open chances like that. But with the players, when they make runs and stuff, and the balls here, because the defenders got to come up and 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 um, put pressure on them or close them down. When the, Defenders do come out and close them down. I mean, it opens up all sorts of room up here. And because you have those runs from midfield, in my opinion, it's harder to mark. Because, I mean, if you, as a defender, you make that run and you come up here to close somebody down, and then somebody moves to literally fill the void that you just created, it, it causes a lot of problems. It's much tougher to coordinate your defense. But... Like I said, that's just my my football and philosophy. Oh, say again? No. I was gonna say I thought he was going there for a second. Yeah. So. Yeah. I would like another goal here, though. I don't I don't like how much possession and stuff they've had down on our end. Throughout the after we scored that goal, we kind of backed off. And uh, like I said, I don't really trust our defense with a one goal lead. I don't know if I ever will, but honestly, oh, see, Oof. I thought that was going in. That was a good strike. Good strike from distance, it really was. But see, yeah, like that right there, uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Those two players come up to close down the ball, and Ayala just literally just runs into the void that they just created. Of course, only one of them should be coming up to close down the ball, not both of them. But even still, I mean, you would have, you know, a quality opportunity there, one on one, or, you know, and probably in a decent amount of space too. Oh my lord! Just shoot! Thank you, shit! <laughs> you get the ball that close, then just hit it. I can't believe that's our central defender. That was both of our central defenders there playing the ball about, you know, two yards from the fucking goal line. Wow. See, now now I can breathe a little easier. Now I can... <sighs> yeah. We got two goal lead. Now let's not fuck this up. I'm actually kind of... I was kind of hoping to go into the to halftime with a one goal lead to give them the uh, don't get complacent talk. So I kind of I kind of like to do that. Um... Yeah, Robbie's coming off here again. Cause I like kind of, I kind of like to, uh, kind of like to do that um, on the back of a of a big three nothing win, like last time. Just because you you um, you get too you get too much of a lead in in some of these games, and then you know, like I said, you get a two goal lead at halftime. You know, you won the last game by three goals. Players get really lackadaisical. They they get really um, lazy, in my opinion. Um, and, and then, and then you just, oh, fucking Christ, really? God damn it. Fucking knew something stupid like this was going to happen. Fuck. Irritating me. Fucking bastards. I hate that fucking shit. Like, you know, and that's up to two. All I wanted with him, like, some of these players that need to be subbed off, like Harala, Saxella, and, and stuff, I wanted to just get to fucking halftime. Just give me 45 minutes, and then I'll likely sub you off. That's all I fucking wanted. And then, of course, right on 40 minutes, you know, it's like, bam, guess what? Oh, Yala chipping the goalkeeper. Almost. Almost. Very close there. Come on, get him off there. Fuck. Thank you. Shit. Fucking bastards. Fucking. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be a theme this season, though. I really do. Ah, oh, fuck. 
Good thing is his touch and everything took him out of a goal scoring opportunity. That was a good chance right there. That was a very good chance right there for them. But see now, like I said, we don't we're, we're surrendering a lot of possession here. I mean, eight percent of it is going their way. However, we do have ten shots where they've only got the two. So I mean, defensively we keep a good shape. But all right, I'm gonna don't get complacent. Oh fuck! Ah oh, fuck! Now what I wanted to happen. I guess it's kind of my fault, though. But, you know, it is. It is what it is. And all that good shit. So. They made two subs at halftime, too. I don't know if you noticed that, but. They made a pair. And I'm gonna assume that they're gonna have the bulk of possession here in the second half, considering they've already had a good chunk of it. The halftime team talk wasn't super great, but like I said, I like to do it then. I, I, I like to tell them to not get complacent then because, like I said, we won the last game by three goals. We're winning this game by two at halftime. You know, if you say, hey, good job, guys, typically they're just going to go out there. And a two-goal lead is uh, the most dangerous lead in football, in my opinion, because you're like, ah, hey, you know, it's two goals. We can live to fuck it up. You know, I mean, you've seen, you've seen us drop three goals and a half, you know, with a four-goal lead. So, you know, it can happen. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's just the way it is. And, you know, you've got to, you've got to, I don't know, you've got to, I guess, prepare, prepare for that sort of thing and, and, you know, not get complacent, as they say. And, and like I said, I mean, me, I'm, you know, perfectionist kind of, and so therefore, I mean, we got to, Maintain our focus. And like I said, I mean, a couple of players getting pissed off the halftime team talk. I could care less about. Because, I mean, you have to have, like I said, a level of professionalism, you know, to go out there. And, yeah, okay, if we're up four goals and I'm telling you not to fuck it up, okay, I get that. It means a two-goal lead. You know, you just had a, you just won by three in the last match. Oof. Oof. That was sneaky. You know, but like I said, I mean, it's kind of I could kind of smell the fucking complacency coming considering like I said I mean we got that first goal and ooh I thought I thought he was going to make a run at that didn't think he'd get there but by the way this uh was it Alberg kid I think it's this guy I think it's the wrong guess blondie looking one he's he's a transfer target of ours I'm trying to get hold of him but they want too much so here's the hope and that no one picks him up in between now and whenever the fuck we happen to get some money to to bid on a player because they want a couple hundred thousand which i was like bitch that's too much we ain't got that and of course now hananen gets fucking injured how what are the fucking odds right i mean it's gonna be one of those matches where they're just gonna fucking kill our players and we're just gonna have to fucking make substitutions the whole fucking time Ugh. And that's really, you know, like I said, I was really wanting to take Harala off and keep Harala fresh, fresh-ish, fresh-ish, and also have the, the flexibility to take Robbie off with the fucking card because, you know, that's what I do. I, I'm precautionary in that sense. I take players off with cards, especially the players that I don't really, you know, trust. I've, I've played this game too many times and had a player with... No, the one guy with the fucking card. You know, get a fucking other one. Had that happen way too many fucking times. Way too many fucking times. For me to be like, hey, fuck it, I'll just trust you. Especially those fucking wing players. Those wing backs. Not even wing backs in, our, in this system. They're full backs. I mean, those fuckers just pick up so many damn cards. It's just fucking ridiculous. Just stupid. Just absolutely stupid. And yeah, now Wusu starts getting the card here. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It's all because we're winning and we're actually playing pretty well. I mean, like I said, once again, for them having all that possession and they've only mustered two shots, and those two shots were in the first half, mind you. I mean, that's... That's... I mean, that's, that's once again, the reason why I... Oh, my, I'll say... Did everything but finish. That last touch took him too far out to the right there. This 
bad touch there. And yeah, let's see, clear that shit. What's even worse though, in my opinion, is when, when your players go in to tackle and get hurt. God, I hate that. Oh shit. I hate that shit so much. It's, it's irritating. See, like I said, I mean, we're 60 minutes into this game. They've got three shots, only one on target, you know, and they've had the majority of possession throughout the game. Like I said, I'm okay with that. You know, I can, you know, exceed possession a little bit if we play good defensive football and and keep them from scoring. Oh. That was a half chance right there, too. I was about to get a little excited. But. And in comes the corner. And, oh. Just shoot, 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 you motherfucker. Oh, Jesus. What are you doing? I hate when they do that. And they pass that back out to him. It's like somebody, for the love of God, just shoot it. Thank you. Of course, that's probably not who you want to shoot the ball. But, yeah. What the hell, right? What the hell? So now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to give, I'm going to give Robbie a chance. Give him a chance. Put Oyala in the middle there. Kukia Aho, let him play up in that attacking midfielder spot. And rest Harala. Why, you ask? Oh, well, let me tell you why. Yeah, Alberg's the kid where that kid is. Yeah, we want, we want to get our hands on him. He could do some fucking damage in our system. He really could. Really, really could. But anyhow, um, where the fuck was I going with that? I don't, I don't remember. But the reason why I took Harala off is... I'm just hoping no none of our other attacking players get injured because honestly, with Hananen, okay, if Hananen is injured for any length of time, Ramasaho's the guy to come up and play up, and that's really our only option. Now, our second option, which is kind of a half option, not really a real option, is to take Bachman because Bachman can play in the middle. Oh wow! Anyway, Bachman can play in the middle. And play him in, like, literally right here. Right here. Right in the fucking middle. Because this is a box-to-box -box midfielder, mind you. He's more of a support position. And Bachman can play as a midfielder. And, um, defensive midfielder. And, um, could play him there. Or, this is kind of the same option, move Owusu into that position because he's a little more offensively talented. Oh, fucking Christ. That's fucking terrible. Luckily, Emmett does not know what to fucking do with it. Just fucking stands on it. Move Wusu into this position. Let him play. Also, Wusu is a little more mobile and, and have uh, have Bachman play in that other defensive midfielder spot. Those are really our only options. If another uh, attacking midfielder goes down. So, it's because we just don't have we just don't have depth. I should say we just don't have players that aren't good enough. Defensively, I think we've got, especially with this formation, I think we've got enough between Baston, Oles. Oh, what a save. Jesus. Between Baston, Oles, Ramali, and who the fuck else? So I guess Bachman, yeah, he's really our primary central defender. Between all those guys, I mean, we've got, we've got bodies to at least cover defensively and, and ones that aren't going to be... Playing an unknown position, you know. I mean, at least guys, you know, at least they have enough. And I think we'll end up using them. Honestly, like I said, anyone gets injured in midfield, Bachman has got to come up, and yeah, it, it just gets all sorts of fucking messed up. So, all right then. I'm very fucking pleased with the way you played. You finished the game with two goals to the good. They finally put on some shots there at the end, but you know. It is what it is. Jesus Christ. Ten goals. Yeah, I think FC Lati might fucking win this competition. Right? Yeah, Simon Alberg. That's the kid we want to get our hands on. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty fucking good. You know, would love him for that price, but of course they won't fucking take him for that price. Will they? Hell no. They're like, nope. 
We ain't, we ain't letting you have them because we're douches. But anyway, all right. So that does it for this episode. Actually, should we should should we assess the damage? Let's assess the damage. See how much we hate ourselves after we uh. After, oh yeah, that was a few days ago. Setting. So all right, four weeks, three weeks. See. <sighs> I'm just getting so fucking tired of that. Honestly, I mean, we haven't had, we haven't had a full team. I mean, we technically, by technicality, had a full team here in this last match because Baston was not injured. However, he wasn't quite fit enough yet to play. So here we are. Another, you now down another fucking two, and he's clearly our best. Of, fucking defender I think Soxila <sighs> but whatever it is what it is lucky for us well fuck I shouldn't say that anymore because we did advance to the next fucking round <laughs> let me let me go actually yeah let's go let's go here take a look at that you probably hear that fucking cat the cat's in another fucking room fucking making all sorts of noise because she's a shithead Okay, yeah, so our next match is a friendly. That's in four days. And then we have um, whoever the fuck we get drawn against here in, in the semifinal. So there's that. Fucking Santa Claus. I love it. I love the fucking name of that club. Santa Claus. But anyhow, um, and then we have three friendlies. But the good thing is those friendlies kind of put us... To a point where, I mean, actually, both players are probably going to be coming back right around here. I'll probably when we play HDK. That's probably when they'll, when they'll come back right around there. Because, yeah, they're gone for a while. But anyhow. Aside from that, exceeding disappointment. Although, quite honestly, let's look at this. Even though this is a friendly. It's a friendly. We played three matches with the exact same formation, and we have yet to concede a goal so I'm pretty happy about that quite honestly our defense hasn't been terrible the Maria my games and eh, not bad I mean like I said those are really the first two games that game was terrible we played like shit we also had two players fucking injured in that game whatever fuck that fuck that bullshit but anyway like I said three games with the same formation and not a single goal against even though one of them was a friendly that's fine. Still two goals without conceding. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, really don't give a shit about this game. I'm going to do what I can to fucking put scrubs in, quite honestly. And just say, fucking let everyone rest up for this next match. Because, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be not fun. Um, but anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.